it's a wonderful film, and I'll never forget that experience of seeing that in the theater for the first time. But then I screened Dial In For Murder in 3D, and that was the revelation for them. I knew I, I, I had seen it in 3D, and I, I you know, literally, uh, it was a whole other approach uh, to um, uh, uh, something that was, it was not a horror genre, it was literally a stage play in 3D. Um, and so I decided I wanted to go more that way. And finally, um, uh, that's exactly what we try to do. I mean, what eventually happened was that uh, I would just keep asking for more and more. And Dimitri would be on the I.O. and uh, the conversion, and I kept changing it. And until we, until we, we literally had to shoot, you know, we had to keep going. I mean, yes, the, 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 the equipment was big, there's no doubt, but Hugo was a perfect film to do it on because we had the crane and we had one giant set, mainly. So we put that ring on the crane and we moved it around, you see. I mean, our biggest obstacle on uh, shooting uh, Hugo was the, uh, the rules of um, uh, child labor in England. And because the, the boy is in that practically every scene, we only had him four hours a day, non-consecutive. So, we were there, you know, waiting, moving. Um, but every time we set up a shot, I designed a lot of the stuff in a hotel room way before, but every time we, we, we set up a shot, it was, as, as, as I'm saying, literally starting uh, from uh, square one. Because, yes, I want this effect from here to here to here, and we get that effect, but then we've, we've, uh, we've suddenly incorporated three or four other elements we hadn't realized. You know, or we get something even better. And so each time was an experience and an excitement, and we saw it right there on the monitor. People sometimes would come in and say, oh, look at this, quick, look over here. We'd run in, you know. Uh, even though there's a scene with um, Sasha Baron Cohen where he leans in towards the boy, intimidating the boy. Uh, and as he leaned in, I was, on this, I was literally next to Bob shooting that. As he leaned in, he, he started to, it, it was a whole other effect. He sort of came right off the screen. And we suddenly felt like we were kids again, and the police were talking to us down the Lower East Side. You come in, where do you live? Where do you live? I live over there, go there. But I live here, then go home. Get off the corner. <laughs> it's, like, you know, it's exactly how we felt. No, not Bob, I did. Um, and uh, he comes from the country somewhere, I don't know. But uh, for a city boy, that was like, oh, okay. And um, that was an accident. That was an accident. So I